Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my quarterly update for all of the eyeshadows I have hit pan in and all of the eyeshadows that I have finished. This year, I've set myself a goal to try to hit pan in 70 different eyeshadows and to try to finish 20 different eyeshadows. I have done an update for the first quarter of the year that was posted in April. I will have that link down below. But these are all of the pans I've hit and eyeshadows I finished from the beginning of April all the way through the end of June. So before I get into that, let me quickly tell you what I'm wearing on my lips for the 365 Days of Lippies Challenge. I'm wearing this Kopari Lip Glossy in the shade Hibiscus. Just a very light sheer wash of pink. I think it is really pretty. So before I show you everything, let me quickly give you a refresh. As of the end of the first quarter, I had hit pan in 19 different eyeshadows and I have finished six. So I'm going to go ahead and start with all of the eyeshadows I have hit pan in. I'm going to do it in the order that I hit pan in them, and then we'll get into all the eyeshadows I finished. I will have everything listed down below. Typically, I will put it up on the screen. However, because I'm filming so many different videos, I'm doing my inventories and all of that, to save myself a little bit of editing time, I'm going to put that in the description box below. I will list them in the order I hit the pan, and then I will put on there how many uses it took me to hit pan. So look for that information, and for the ones that I have finished, I have all the numbers of how many uses it took me to finish them, so I will put that down below as well. So let's go ahead and get started from the beginning of April, everything that I hit pan it, and we'll go in the order that I, that I hit them. So the first one is from my ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. The first pan I hit was in this shade right here called Vermeer. Obviously, I've been working on this a lot since the beginning of April because I have a huge pan in there now, but this was the first pan that I hit this quarter. Next one came from my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry palette, and in this one, I hit pan in the shade Boysenberry, which is this matte purple shade right here. So it's a tiny, tiny pan, but hey, tiny pans still count, so pan in that one. Next one was in a ColourPop Super Shock shadow. This one is in the shade Dare. It is a beautiful purple topper shade. So I hit pan in this one in the deck of panning. I got um, a random color generator that was this color, and so I hit pan in this one for that project. Next, I was working on my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette, and in here I hit pan in the shade Bing, which is this one right here. So I'm happy to have two pans in this palette, but only this one was hit this quarter. Next is my Too Faced Just Just peachy mattes palette and in this one I hit shade hit pan in the shade just peachy which is this one right here so I have pan in here if you guys are following my pan those eyeshadows and you know that I'm also working on this eyeshadow right here and I still don't have pan in that one it is taking forever but I do have one pan in here Next, I was working on my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. I was working on an eyeshadow in here for the Panner's Pan for Elizabeth Christensen. And I was able to hit pan in this one in the shade Rollin' In Dough. So, got a pretty good pan going there. Next was another ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this is in the shade Kelp Me. So there's the pan in that one. Next, I got hit pan in the ABH Prism palette. I was working on this orange shade called Saturn and the pan is super tiny because as soon as I hit pan in this, I quit working on it because this is essentially the same shade as Realgar in my ABH Modern Renaissance palette, which is my pan that palette this year. And of course, as soon as I hit shade, hit pan in the shade, <laughs> uh, Saturn, I did hit pan in Realgar next right here. So I hit pan in two of the orange shades in a row. So um, I'm happy that I'm only working on this one now to try to finish it. Next, I got a pan in Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette. I was working on the shade Bakwa, which is right here. And I hit pan in that one. You guys will recognize these all from my pan those eyeshadows. Next one is from Juvia's Place, the Topes palette, and I was able to hit pan in the first shade right over here. Next, I hit pan in the Magic Mini palette from Juvia's Place. I was working on the shade O Sun, which is this pink right up here. 
And then the final pan that I hit is from my ColourPop Costa Coral Palette. I hit pan in the shade The Keys right here. So if you guys have been counting, that is 13 new eyeshadows that I have hit pan in. So 13 plus the 19 brings me up to 32 eyeshadow pans. This is halfway through the year. Half of 70 is 35. I'm a little bit behind. I am a little bit worried about this one, not gonna lie, but we'll see how close I can get to that 70 pan mark by the end of the year. But so far we are almost halfway there and so I'm pretty pleased with that progress. Next, let's hop on over to all of the eyeshadows that I have finished. Again, we're doing these in the order that I finished them. The first one comes from my Modern Renaissance palette. I finished off the shade right here called Golden Ochre. After that, I finished one from my Too Faced Sugar Cookie palette, which is in my Throwback 30 project pan. And I finished this eyeshadow right here called Fresh From The Oven. Next, let's jump on back to my ABH palette and I finished off the shade Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. And then I hit, no, well, I didn't hit pan. I finished off a Steel at Glitter and Glow in the shade Burnished Sienna. And I do count these. Um, they are liquid eyeshadows, so I count them in finishing an eyeshadow. So as you can see, I have completely emptied this one out. I only count these in these numbers when I finish them. Obviously, you can't hit pan in them, but when they are an empty, I count them as an empty because this took a lot of work to do. And then the final one that I hit, again, from my Modern Renaissance palette is this shade right here called Primavera. So I finished off these three right here this quarter. This one was finished in the first quarter. So that is five eyeshadows that I have finished this quarter. So now I'm at 11. 11 out of 20 is fantastic. I'm a little over halfway there. Considering how far I am in some of these shades in the Modern Renaissance palette and how close I am to finishing these two, I really think I'm gonna hit that goal of finishing off 20 eyeshadows this year. It's the pans that I'm worried about. Uh, if I don't hit 70, it's okay, it's just a goal and uh, it's not gonna affect anything if I don't hit that number. So I'm gonna strive for it, but uh, right now we're at 32 pans hit and 11 eyeshadows finished. So. Leave me a comment down below. How many eyeshadows have you guys finished? How many pans have you hit? I would love to hear your numbers. Is there anything you're super proud of that you've hit pan in or finished? Let me know that down below. So if you guys don't wanna miss out on any of my upcoming content, my inventory, I have a project pan finale, a project pan intro. I have a whole bunch of content coming this month. If you don't wanna miss any of that, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. While you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for stopping by.